Hey guys, what's up? It's Sly Cooper Rocks. Welcome to Let's Play Sly Cooper Thieves in Time Part 17. In the last part, well, <laughs> in the last part, we uh, pretty much found out who the uh, Black Knight was. And we defeated it. Or her, I should say. Um, and so yeah, we've now moved on to uh, the fifth hub world. And... Um, yeah, we're looking for the other 40 thieves, or, you know, our ancestor, or whatever. So, uh, we pretty much just started. Um, so, uh, yeah. Before we, uh, start Sly's first mission, I want to see if I can go ahead and clear out this trophy I have here. That is trophy, uh, what is it called? The Cooper Open. It's a bronze trophy where we have to hit a, uh, 20 hit rally with Bentley in each hideout. And I've already done it for all the other hideouts, at least hopefully. So, uh, whoops. I don't want to go there. So hopefully if I hit a 20 uh, hit rally here, I will get a trophy. So we'll see if it actually worked. Alright. There we go, the Cooper Open, which is uh, have a 20 hit rally with Bentley in each hideout. So I just got that trophy. Sweet. So that actually did work. All right. Now let's move on to Sly's first mission here. All right. Let's go. Lost and found. Here we go. Alright, now let's go ahead and look at our map. We are in Ancient Arabia, 1001 AD. Alright, so we cleared out that map here. Now we're going to go, yep, Ancient Arabia, 1000 AD. Alright. Now, let's go find our job point. We also got some bottles we need to find as well. Oh, that's That was a guard. I thought so. Isn't that great? Get caught by a carter first uh outing. Alright. Alright. Lost and found. Okay, Sly. Word on the street is that Salim Al Kupar was driven into hiding, but that he's still in the area. We need to figure out where he's hiding, and then find out why. To facilitate that, I've built you a new toy. Cool. Is it a robotic turtle butler? No. After gathering data from your ancestors, I've been able to map the Cooper DNA. I've modified your binoculum with a new visual guidance system that I've programmed to detect anything with which Salim Al Kupar may have come in contact. Wow, Bentley. That's some real science fiction. Huh. I'm liking the music.
Oh, that sounds so cool. The Thieves in Time, uh, theme. Sure, we got the map. All right, cleared that map out. Activate your binocular cob and scan the surrounding areas. You should see a glow on any object that Salib has recently touched. Cross here somehow. All right. Oh man. Actually, I gotta go back down. Dang it. No, I don't want to go back up there. I want to go over here. See if I can't uh, grab an item from that guy. Uh oh. Seriously? My PS3 froze. Okay, that's never happened before. At least not during a, a let's play here. All right. Well, guess I'll have to restart my uh, PS3. Dang it! Doesn't look like it's gonna respond to anything. Well, that's weird. All right, we're gonna have to restart my PS3. I apologize, guys. My PS3 has been freezing uh, fairly often, fairly recently, so I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if it's getting overheated or what, but that's really weird. Alright, well, we'll turn it back on and uh, reload Thieves in Time, it looks like. Let's reload this thing.
Okay, is it loading or what? <laughs> PS3, hello! Oh my gosh. <sighs> yep. I don't know what the deal with with my uh, PS3 is. Come on, PS3. Guys, I apologize. It's not it's not letting me turn it off. Guess I'll have to unplug it. Man, this is the most technical difficulty part in a while. Gosh. Alright, let's unplug it. Hopefully it's not getting overheated. But I'm really surprised that it's doing this because it's only four months old. Like Four, yeah, pretty much four months old, so I don't know what the deal is. It's really weird. And it's been freezing. It's not only, uh, it's, it's, that's not actually the first time it's, uh, frozen on, um, on Sly 4. This is probably, like, the third time it's frozen on Sly 4. And it's also frozen on, uh, All Stars and Hack Pack, so. Alright, system was not turned off properly. Gosh. See, I really wish XSplit could pause, but it can't. So, I gotta keep going with uh, what we have here. So. Well, dang. I hope I still got the the uh, trophies that I, uh, I gained here. Fortunately, probably the uh, last time that it saved was um, when we uh, finished the cutscene for the last hub world. So, we shouldn't be too far behind. I might have to do the uh, open again. I'm not really sure. We'll have to see if I uh, still have that trophy or what. But we're going to wait for <laughs> this to reset here. So, uh, wh how have you guys been? How's uh, What's up with you guys? Yeah. Gosh, I hope this doesn't happen again, because that's that that's gonna be annoying if it happens again. Hmm. We're up to forty five percent. That's something. Eventually, we will have something to do. Is this your card? How about this card? Is this your card? No? No, what, hey, what about this card? Hmm? Is this your card? 68 bottles of Coke on the wall. 68 bottles of Coke. Take one down, pass one down. Ah, the sweet sound of an orchestra warming up. Yeah. Let's try this again. <laughs> See if we can't get this thing working. I swear. I never thought it would freeze during a frickin' LP. Because it's usually been pretty good, but... We'll try again. We will try again. Alright, here we go. And if it doesn't work, I'll have to send you on your way to part uh, 18. And I don't want to do that. That would be quite depressing. Because then part 16 would be filled with absolutely nothing. Yes. Please work this time. I would appreciate it. Please. There we go. We got some sort of uh, starting up evidence here, maybe. There we go. Alright, here we go. Got some thieves in time. Alright, let's reload here. 
Oh, it actually did save us. So, uh, alright. Saved us during the uh, checkpoint here. Awesome. That's what I really like about these checkpoints. They can save you. Alright, we're back on track here. And only about ten minutes in. Hey. <laughs> uh. I don't see us accomplishing very much during this part. I mean, we had some uh, personal time, I guess. Some uh, re reflection time, maybe. I still need some more data slides. All right. Keep searching. Okay. Hopefully, it kept our map tracks. It probably did. If it if it saved this checkpoint, then it probably uh, kept our map. All right. Well, we're back online here, with a few complications, but that's it. Alright, let's go so find some more uh, Salim evidence. Actually, I'm gonna go grab this bottle. Alright. Because I am uh, distracted. Alright, here we go. Another bottle, but we'll leave that one for later. All right, we got some more evidence over here. Quick, fly them with Occupy. There's something nearby. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a guard nearby. Yeah, let's go up here instead. Fly, there's something close by. Use your Occupy. Can't see it. Hmm. I'm picking something up. Put your binocu cob on, Sly. I'm too far away here. Or too close. Well, still too close. Still too close. I do not like that guard here. He's not helping me out. Alright, well. Try it again. Neglecting his grooming. Oof. Oh, they brought back the snakes. Hey, snakes from uh, Slide Two. You're in rage. Use the Monocu Cup now, Sly. Uh, there's something over there. Close. Interesting. Looks like Salim recently took this camel for a test drive. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Thank <laughs> you. 
What, Bentley? This looks like a peaceful spot. I'll bet Salim uses this place for meditating. Hmm. Okay, Sly. I'm collating all the data, and it appears Salim is on a boat? <laughs> He's on a boat. He's on a boat. Take a big look, big look at the boat. Oh, okay. Greetings. You're Salim Al Kapar, aren't you? And who are you? Uh, well, that part's kind of complicated. I'm a thief like you, but I'm kind of new in town. How about you come back to my gang's hideout and I can explain myself? How about you go nick a camel's hump? <laughs> okay. Look, I know you're in trouble. I'm here to help. I can explain everything, but let's go where we can talk safely. Besides, you look hungry. How would you like some food? Food? <laughs> it was foolish of you not to mention that in the first place. Let's go. <laughs> you mentioned any anything? Or no, you mentioned food to anybody, and that's pretty much what they're like. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's why whenever you're planning an event, mention free food, hundreds of people will be there. Definitely. Back at the hideout, introductions went quickly as Salim stuffed his face. He told us about his problem. Some new player calling herself Miss Decibel had rolled into town and started throwing lots of money around. It didn't take a genius to figure out who the time-traveling lieutenant was here. Salim and the three remaining thieves had decided to pull one last heist before disappearing into retirement, Miss Decibel being the target. Of course, with her technology, she had easily captured his thief brothers, and Salim had been trying to come up with a plan to free them ever since. Bentley uncovered some interesting background information. Miss Decibel had come from a wealthy British family. Her true love was classical music. Unfortunately, her complete lack of musical talent, coupled with an extreme temper, made for a volatile combination. After suffering a freak accident during a tantrum, she was left unable to play music, normally. However, when she discovered she could control people with her hypnotic tones, a new criminal was born. She began using her devious talents to control others, forcing them to commit crimes for her. We told Salim about the paradox, and the whole thing made some strange kind of sense to him. The bad news was that he wasn't completely convinced that we were there to help him. I could see I was going to have to prove myself. Again. <laughs> Alright, we got some new thief net. What we got? Paraglider dive attack. While gliding, press square while in range of a target to attack it. Wow. Hmm. Huh. Cuffs of confusion. Any punch sends an enemy into temporary confusion. Access the gadget grid with L uh, L2 to select this upgrade. Meter recharger. Automatically recharges the gadget meter in a blink of an eye. Alright. 
Alright, we got some sly here. Open sesame. Whoops. Open sesame. Got some Aladdin in there. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright. Alright, where are we going? We're going this way to open sesame. No. Got some baboon guards here, no doubt. Obviously. Open sesame. Okay, apparently Salim lost a small fortune betting on the camels a while back and had to pawn his thief outfit. Sly, if we could buy that outfit back for Salim, I'm sure we could gain his trust. The shopkeeper is a security freak, a real head case. His place is a fortress and he never leaves. All business is conducted through a slot in the door. I think this is one time we're going to have to play it straight and pay the man what he wants. As you might imagine, his price is pretty steep. The shopkeeper will only accept payment in the form of flawless gemstones. Three to be exact. The only gems of that quality around here are the decorative stones embedded in the city walls. I've located the three largest specimens for you. All you have to do is remove them, avoid the guards, and bring them to the shop. Just make sure those gems are still flawless when you get there. Hmm. I'm guessing that means we can't take any damage. Well, we'll find that out. That's so far. That's one huge rock. That so far has been the weirdest way to get an item in the Sly Cooper universe. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Okay. on top of a building here somehow. Hmm. Yep, they definitely brought back the snakes. Hmm, how are we gonna get up there? How about over here? Oh. Hmm. Oh, come on! <laughs> nope. Not gonna be able to get up there that way. Stupid snakes. 
Well, how do we get over there? Well, guess we're gonna have to find another way. Hmm. Maybe on that, uh, board? Somehow. Try getting somewhere high over here. Could have easily done that. Wow, okay. Here's another weird capture of an item. That is so weird. Two gems down, one to go. That is so strange. I can't think of a weirder way to get an item in any of the Sly Cooper games, except for that. That is... that is definitely out there. Congratulations, Senzaru! You have earned the award of weirdest way to obtain an item in a Sly Cooper game. Gosh. Last one. All right. Now well, just make sure you get those gems to the shop in one piece. Ah, crap. No! Oh, I guess that means don't die? Okay. What do you want? I'm here to buy the thief outfit. Sorry, I do not believe one such as yourself could meet my price. Good day. Oh, that's too bad. I guess I'll just have to go bet these gems on the camel races. Wait, you have gems? Let me see. Man, these rocks are so heavy, I can barely lift them. You want the gems, I want the outfit. Do we have a deal? Indeed. If you want to purchase these old rags, who am I to object? All sales final, no returns. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's cool. Alright, new costume. Sweet. Right. I've been talking to Salim, and it's obvious that outfit is the key to his success. He claims it was once owned by a real genie, and that it could actually slow time. Fascinating. I wonder if it somehow influenced your ancestor, Matthew de la Coupere's slow motion technique. In any event, only someone possessing the famed Cooper Focus can pull it off. Hmm. While wearing the thief outfit, press the R2 button to activate your ability. Cool. Good job, Sly. Although it seems we have another problem. Salim tells me that Miss Decibel is constantly changing the locations of the captured thieves, which makes them almost impossible to track. It's gonna be... Hold on, Sly. I'm picking something up. Sweet sunspots. Sly, the paradox is here. He's mating with Miss Decibel right now. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect opportunity for a little eavesdropping. Great idea! Just one thing! That outfit won't fool these guards, 
They know the locals and they'll peg you for a stranger immediately. You should just stay out of sight. Thanks for the info, Bentley. I'm on my way. Fly, press the triangle button to use that sword. Way to go, Sly. Now you better get going. Sly, don't let anyone see you. If the guards see you, it's over, Sly. Did I mention I love your new perfume? He does such a delightful hint of peanuts. My goodness! <laughs> hmm, I could swear I heard something. Have I ever told you how exquisite your eyes are? They are like two perfect, shiny little stones. My, my, such a charmer! So, please tell me the operation is going according to plan. Of course, everything is progressing splendidly. I have those raggedy little thieves completely under my control. I've never seen better forgeries. The documents they are producing are of the highest quality. Perfect. Once I get them back to the present day and my royal lineage is discovered, my wealth and power will be unstoppable. Well, <laughs> there is one tensy little problem. <laughs> we still need to feed our little worker bees, but our supplies are running low. The one who calls himself the Panther seems to work best when I feed him scorpion claws. Disgusting! <laughs> yeah, very well. I shall have some delivered immediately. Whatever it takes to keep these vermin working. Oh, and one more thing. Tell your guards if they don't capture Cooper, I will have them all fired and then executed. Why, did you hear that? They're creating a false royal identity for Le Paradox in the present day. If that happens, he'll make it close to untouchable. I just had my tail shot. also need a delivery. The panther needs scorpion claws. Maybe we can make that work for us. I must remember to bring a handkerchief next time. Ah, this heat is so unpleasant. I should create another ice age. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit peckish. Must be time for a snack. You know, one might say you have a real nose for music. <laughs> Why, thank you. It must be yours, the camel hair. You know, in this light, you look so majestic. Like a mountain of beauty. How kind of you to say, darling, and everyone. Tell me, what do you think of this little sand pit? Well, darling, this dry environment plays absolute havoc with my sinuses. <laughs> My music practice has been atrocious lately. Would you like to hear that? Not really, but I want you to hear me. Do not fail me like those other idiots, Shari. I'd hate to see you stranded here permanently. Oh, I, uh, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Good, because the others have failed. Even Penelope, and she was the smart one. But now I have to turn my back on her. You understand. Oh, yes, of course. Everything will go precisely as planned. Uh, although, I must trouble you for some camel cheese. Absolutely horrid stuff, but the thief called the tiger seems to rely on it. And our reserves are almost depleted. Can't we just starve these filthy hoodlums into submission? Ah, fine. I will send a delivery boy. Or delivery. Sly, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hamble, You should warn me before you do that. <laughs> this blasted sneezing is putting my trunk. So, any more requests? Oh, no, sweetums. I believe that's all. As soon as the documents are complete, I will deliver them personally. Magnifique! Then I should have them very soon. Oh, wait. There is one lost. It <laughs> the one called the lion seems to favor cobra tails, and you know how troublesome those are to obtain. 
Fine, you shall have them. But I had better get those papers quickly. Boy, I'd hate to be the guy that has to collect the cobra tail. <laughs> what a delightful day for a stroll. Fly, I've got a crazy idea. That outfit may not work on the guards, but I bet outsiders like the Paradox and Miss Decibel would know the difference. She's expecting deliveries for the thieves, right? Try using the outfit to impersonate the delivery boy. If they buy it, we'll know where the thieves are being kept. Excellent idea, Bentley. And just to ensure it's foolproof, I'm gonna use my... No, Sly, don't say it! Italian accent! I said crazy, Sly, not suicidal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh gosh, this is definitely one of the greatest slot games. Definitely. Might even be, be better than, uh... Now wearing the thief outfit, press the R2 button to activate your ability. Oh gosh. Why, press the triangle button to use that sword. Oh man, I'm loving this game. I'm loving all the references and ever. Oh man, it's great. Whew. It's hilarious. And who is this little peepsqueak? Yes, identify yourself immediately. It's a me, uh, the delivery boy. You are called. Uh... Hmm, I don't recognize your scruffy features. The other boys are out to seek. Uh, something about the snake bites. Is there something wrong with your voice? No, uh, I've been talking like this uh, my whole life. Uh, How droll. I see. Well, if you're really the delivery person, then you would know the usual orders, no? What a food does the panther require? Why the panther loves the scorpion claws? Hmm. He appears to be legitimate. Oh, thank goodness. Here are the delivery locations. Hurry up, please. Fly is a good thing we're in Arabia, because in Italy that accent would be considered a felony. Now let's go rescue those thieves. Oh, guys, I am totally enjoying this game. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe they brought back Kevin Miller's, or I should say, Sly's Italian accent. I can't believe they did that. Oh, that is so great. Uh, that just made this game so much more be so much better. All right, new thief net. What do you got for me? Silent Sprint. Hold R1 to sprint silently. Nearby enemies won't hear Sly's footsteps. Sweet. Adrenaline Burst Plus. Double tap R1 to boost away from the enemies. Hold it to boost even longer. Cool. Alright, we got a job for Salim. Alright. First time we get to play as him. Awesome. We got Salim. Sweet. Alright, where are we going? We're going this way. Going to Rugrats. Alright. It's totally not a reference to the uh, Nickelodeon TV show. Obviously. Whoops. Come on, buddy. There we go. Finally. Alright. 
Uh, we have to go here, it looks like. Oh my gosh! Dude, he has a freaking magic carpet for a paraglider. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That's awesome and hilarious. That's hilarious! Yeah, I'm sorry. Alright. Rugrat. Well, Rugrats. There it is. Alright. Okay, Salim. We know that Decibel has the Panther somewhere in that tower. Trying to go through the palace itself would be impossible. Luckily, this carpet shop is going to save us the trouble. Ah, yes. Honest Hassan's carpets. He owns many, many shops, but he is not so honest. Trust me. In fact, we used to run a flying carpet scam where he would pretend to be... Kind of pressed for time here. Fine. Please continue. <laughs> So, according to my diagrams, the shop is connected to the tower. There's a vent system on the side of the building. All you have to do is crawl through the vents, and it will lead you straight into the shop. From there, you can make your way through the shop's interior to the tower. Hm. You make it sound so easy. I would like to see you crawl through vents when you are my age. Talk to you inside the shop. Good luck! <laughs> oh, Bentley. Such a fast talker. Alright, how are we doing this? How are we doing this? Oh, we have to go over here. Okay. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I feel like it. Don't mind me. Okay. Uh. Guess we go up here. Oh no, we go down. Whoops. I'm confused. Oh. In here. Why didn't I think of that too earlier? I'm actually gonna stop. I don't even know what I'm doing. That's like a combination between Arabian, Italian... I don't know. My accents are strange. They seem to be a combination of different... Ugh. You know, I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try to explain it. I wonder if this Bentley will have me jumping through hoops next. First, I grab the rope. Then I press the R2 button to climb up or down like lightning. Alright. Gotta look at a map first. This is going to be the map in, uh... Let me look. Probably shouldn't put up trophies uh, all the way down here. Let's see. Uh, all right. So carpets. Okay. Now we need to look for the uh, the cavern next. So that's the next map we're gonna be looking out for. Whoops. That didn't quite work. Oh, and there's also a slime mask here. Um, I'm gonna read real quick where it is. No wonder we couldn't get up these this pole before. Okay, while playing the mission, you'll spot the mask guarded by some gorillas. You can hop over the fence to grab the mask. This will alert the guards and send you back a checkpoint. But you'll get to keep the mask. Alternatively, you can backtrack a bit after crossing the ledge and take out the guards stealthily. Okay. That is so cool. Wait, this room doesn't match my blueprints? It must have been renovated recently. Give me a minute to figure this out. Oh, by Aladdin's beard. Do you not know that rule number 37 in the Thieves' Handbook is expect the unexpected, foresee the unforeseen, predict the unpredictable? Keep your turban on. My sonar readings show an old passageway through a cave system beneath the floor. Let's see. Massive payload, angle of incident, Relative humidity divided by two. Got it. Salim, 
If we could drop that pallet of carpet to the corner, it should slash a hole in the floor straight through to the caverns below. We? It seems that I will be doing all the work. How about we just talk when you reach the passageway? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh... Is there a slime mask in here? Not quite sure. Hmm. Looks like I can somehow get up there, but I don't think I can at the moment. So, does this guard go to sleep? Or, can we ride our magic carpet? Snakes! Why do it have to be snakes? <laughs> Indiana Jones reference. Awesome. Awesome. I knew that was going to come at some point. Alright, here we go. I had a magic lamp. I would wish for this job to be over. <laughs> wow, those are some giant Diablo scorpions. Nasty. You probably just want to avoid them, but destroying those nesting mounds will clear them out. Keep moving forward and you should reach the base of the tower. All right. Got the cavern map down. All right. Stuck my hand in. Ugh. In what? Okay. All right. Shall I bring you back some scorpions, Bentley? They taste just like chicken. No thanks. I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> Climbing, my favorite. I don't see an access point, but that lever looks worth investigating. And be careful not to stir up the scorpion nests in here. Alright, new map. Cool. Alright. Not real I'm still not really sure where that slime mask is, but I'm sure we'll find it somewhere. Apparently behind a fence being guarded by some guards. I'm not I'm not actually sure if it was in that room that we were there before, but I guess we'll find out. Well, that didn't quite work. Aw, oh, come on, scorpions. Ugh! You know what? I'm gonna destroy these things. Alright, there we go. That should be a bit easier. Hopefully. Oh, wait. There's one here. Alright, let's try this again.
guessing it's behind here. I would much rather be riding a camel with three humps. You're all mine! Whoops. I would much rather be riding a camel with three humps. I'm guessing it's behind this fence. A thousand thank yous once again for this most excellent idea. It does appear to be behind there. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, come on. Ah, come on. Why is this not working? There we go. Oh, it's the same map. Okay, just making sure. Guard. That is so cool. Alright. Got our slime mask. Number 43. Alright, let's continue. All these blades and traps. Just what an old thief wants to see. Guess I'm supposed to go down. Well, not that down. This down. My bad. I guess I have to wait for the entire uh, chain to get down. Okay. There we go. Well, that didn't work either. Ugh. These chains. Okay, let's try it now. Uh... At least this lucky fellow is getting some rest. Searchlight, though. Searchlights are never fun. Alright. You're almost there! Oh, 
boy. All right. Just a little further. Cool. Your friend is in a kind of hypnotic trance. The strange sonic frequency modulations emitted by that device are causing it. I've seen this type of thing once before on a mission in Prague. But this is on a whole new level. Hmm. Mind controlled by music. It's genius. Uh, well, evil genius. Then all hope is lost. No, we just need to disable the device before freeing him. But we have to proceed carefully, or we risk turning his brain into jelly. What is this jelly? Oh, uh, mm. sort of like mm. baba ganoush or hummus, mm. but fruity. Mm. Exactly. Just give me a closer look at that thing so I can turn <gasps> it off. Some, uh, spark. I forgot what it's called now for some reason. Oh, crap. I thought it was the left analog stick to move, not the D pad. Okay, let's try this again. Whoops. Bump me right it's off. Like Bump me right off. That's what I hate those bumpers. Alright, try it again. My brother, are you alright? Oh, oh, my head. Where am I? You have been imprisoned, hypnotized, and compelled to create forgeries by that evil elephant. But I have freed you from her mesmerizing music. With, you know, some assistance. That's nice. I'm hungry. <laughs> Did you bring me anything to eat? Perhaps some nice roasted scorpion tails? Maybe some camel milk? Amazing! I climb halfway to the stars to rescue you, and you expect camel milk? Why do I bother? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, job complete. Alright.
<laughs> All right, guys. We got some new thief net here. Meter recharger automatically recharges the gadget meter in a blink of an eye. Sweet. All right, guys. Looks like that's it for part 17. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Sly Cooper Rocks. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to like and follow the Devious Cooper's Facebook and Twitter pages. Don't forget to follow my personal Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other two channels, Sly Cooper Rocks and Sorox. Alright guys, I've once again been Sly Cooper Rocks. See you guys in part 18. And we'll see you guys. Bro hoof. And see you guys. Thank <laughs> you.